you with yet another DJ's Brew Tube beer review. What beer we got today, Johnny? Uh, Brown Man. Oh, a Green Man Porter. Yeah, Brown Man I just dropped in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> From Green Man Brewery in Asheville, North Carolina, the Silicon Valley. Of, no, wait, 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 wait. The Beer uh, Brewing Valley of the East. That's right. And this particular beer, you're saying, DJ, I know you don't get that in Maryland. DJ, where, did you, where did you get that? You don't get that in Maryland. <laughs> I got it from none other than the Johnny G at Crafty Beer Reviews. Johnny G! If you haven't checked his out his channel, what do they need to do? Uh, look below. That's right. Check out his channel. <laughs> Sub up if you haven't subbed up. If you haven't, what's your problem? He does oh. awesome beer reviews. So, well, means I have to sub yeah, up. Means you just sub to our <laughs> channel, dude. I think I got PA brew news. <laughs> Remember, when you have when you have a stun trigger, sometimes things like this happen. So, I'm going to open the beer. Johnny's going to tell you the scant information we have about it. Okay, we have an English porter that's available year-round. It's Ooh, wow. a robust 6.0% ABV, and we got an IBU score of about 40. With that, it says on the bottle that it has a creamy mouthfeel. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. You like that creamy mouthfeel, don't With you? With distinctive chocolate notes on the end. It says, drink, savor, and repeat. Something like that. But it's a uh, English style. Look at that. He's taking, keeping the bottle over there. English style. I'm smart. Or British style porter. Oh, discover, savor, and repeat. Now, I'm, I'm worried for one reason. Under poured. No, well, it was underfilled. Underfilled, I mean. And also, I mean, the head looks nice and everything, but you know what beer this looks like? And a lot of other beers well, that I've drank. I we, can't no, tell no, you. No. Let me get it out my list? Here. Well, no, that's we drank it. down here in the dungeon. Oh, looks, still. Okay, yeah. Look behind you. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you do have a point there. Um, that looks like Hop and Frog Silk Porter, doesn't it? Oh, no. That's, no. that's making me worry. So... No! <laughs> that's get, look, it's giving Johnny like tra traumatic like childhood memories or something. So let's get a note appearance on this. Um, it's a pretty dark pretty brown dark. color with ruby hints coming through yeah. the bottom. We got a one finger head, a pretty tight bubbles, a little sudsy at the top when you swirl it. Getting some glass lacing, not okay. really any alcohol legs to speak of, but decent looking, kind of average looking porter. So this is English porter, not my favorite style, but we're going to dive into it just the same. Let's see what the aroma is about. It's like toasted white bread. Yeah, it is. Maybe a little caramel, really faint coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of coffee. Yeah. Now our palates are really clean. We just had dinner, nice, some nice greasy ass burgers and fries. <laughs> about five, ten pounds of fries. That's right. So that'll that'll clear out <laughs> Thanks your Thanks to our Hispanic friends from Five Guys. Exactly. Now the dog's growling at us. You can have the beer, beer later. Stop <laughs> growling. <laughs> I'm gonna Not go a really ahead and try this. remarkable smelling beer. Bit of caramel, a little bit of coffee, little tiny bit of chocolate, and, and some bready sort of malts. That's it. Cheers. Thin mouthfeel. Creamy. I do get that. Really thin. <laughs> she came we'll have some side. in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> chocolate. I do get chocolateness. Um, but it, it's it's not the silk porter. No, it's better than means. silk porter. It's a lot better than silk porter. Mm -hmm. um, That's a good thing. It's 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 got that. It's it's like a it's a cream. It's like uh, those little creams that you get for your coffee. Oh, stop it! That's what it's like. It's the little creams that you get for the coffee. It's it's almost like a milk stout. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not sorry, but I, that's what I feel is that milk lactate. But it doesn't have the sweetness, though. No. But it's it's pretty high carbonation, I think, and a real, like, zippy kind of Coca-Cola carbonation. But that's that's common in these English porters. This reminds me of the Longboat Porter that I had from um, from Phillips Brewing. It was a lot like that. It was like that, that almost like that Black Jackal we had, too, the Stout, remember? Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. It's not, the, this Engl the English style is just not my thing. Um, I, I prefer this, the American style to these robust porters. Actually, this reminds me the most of Smutty Nose Robust Porter. It's a little lighter than that beer. That's got more coffee in it. But this one's, it's, it's okay. It's not blowing my hair back or anything, but I, I mean, I'll finish it. That's for sure. Especially since we only have 12 merciful ounces, actually under 12 <laughs> ounces of it to drink. But anyways, what do you grade this kind of beer? Well, well great beer, dudes. 
gave him an 86. Mm-hmm. Which, okay, blows my mind away. Yeah. Um, Usually a beer like this, I give like a five. <laughs> uh, beer Advocate, 86. So the dudes over at Rape Be or Beer Advocate must have been voting on Rape Beer. Um, I myself give an 85. 85. It's not a bad beer. Um, I, I like it actually. So uh, high it, it's, it's a little, it's the carbonation's there, high, kind of gives it that, it's a funky or funny poppy taste mm -hmm. as you take it, but it's got that mouth creaminess. It's not as thin as what I thought it was going to be, mm -mm. Uh, but, you know, I can deal with it. It's got a nice coffee aftertaste. I mean, we've warmed it up and everything. We let it sit out before we did it. I'm, I'm going to give it an 84, I think, just like that, that B minus, like B, high, almost a B minus to B. Uh, it's not blowing my hair back or anything, but it's not a bad beer. I would, well, you yeah, blow it off. I don't have much to blow off, right? <laughs> Um, well, for a year-round serving for a new brewery, it's a it's a tasty beer. I don't know if I'd necessarily seek it out again, but if offered it, I would drink okay, it. Okay, I discovered, I savored, <sighs> repeat. Mm. Uh, maybe not. Discover and savor, maybe, but repeat, uh, yeah, not so much. Day. Exactly. <laughs> so, speaking of another day, guys, until the next time, you got to do something really important for us. Send us more beer. That's right, and you got to think globally, and yeah. drink locally, yep. and support the craft beer movement. So we can drink, well, maybe not more of this beer, but, but more of other craft <laughs> beers. And thanks a million again, Johnny. Um, just because we're not creating this in A doesn't mean we th that we don't really appreciate the fact that you sent this beer because I asked for this beer specifically. That's why we got it. There you go. That's how so it is. So we should goes. blame DJ. That's right. It's my fault. Hey. My whole... Something new, right? <laughs> <laughs> when you're married to a Mexican guys, mm -hmm. remember, it's always your fault. And if you answer that question that way, it's my fault, life will be happy for you. So until the next Jimmy time. says the same thing. Exactly. Thanks a million for watching to each and every one of you. Until then, that's a big what? Peace, Peace out. out.